and welcome to a VRTK tutorial video. In this video we're going to show how we can set up teleport target areas which is similar to the target point however it allows us to teleport anywhere within this specific area but nowhere outside of the area. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. There are plenty of membership levels to sign up at and it really helps to fund these videos. Thanks to all the existing patrons and those patrons who are at the relevant level for a video shout out you'll see your name scroll up on the screen. Thanks for your support. As we've previously used the teleport target point, the teleport target areas are set up in a very similar way. So we'll add one to our scene now. All we need to do is right click on the hierarchy, go down to the Tilia menu, prefabs, in locomotors, teleport target, and there's one called teleport target area. So we'll add that to the scene. And again, I'll move down to the bottom so I can see it easier. And now I'm just going to resize it so it's a little bit bigger. So if I do three across the X and three across the Z, we can see our teleport target area has appeared here. And the teleport target area works by allowing us to teleport anywhere within that area, but nowhere outside of the area. And then as with the teleport target point, we just need to set up the activated event on our teleport target area to call our teleporter. So we'll drag the teleporter in there and on teleport facade, we'll call teleport. And that's it, that's one set up. If we copy that now and we move it over somewhere else, we now have the same functionality as the teleport target point. We can set it to be enabled or locked. So we can set that one to locked. And then again, we'll say when we teleport to this here, on the activated, we'll unlock this one. So teleport target area and spatial target facade is enabled, becomes true. And that's all there is to setting up a teleport target area. Let's jump into the scene and see that working. So now we're in the scene. As you can see, when I activate the pointer, the teleport target area lights up and it shows we can teleport into that area. If I move out of that area, it's still invalid. And we have the locked one over there, which you can see is not enabled, so we can't teleport to that. And simply as before, just teleporting around here will allow us to teleport into those locations. And if we teleport over to here, that unlocks this one. This one is still locked, and if we teleport into this one, we can now see we can teleport into the one that was previously locked. So that's all there is to teleport target areas. I hope this video has been useful. If it has, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Leave any likes, dislikes, and comments down below. And please consider becoming a VRTK patron, as that really helps fund these videos. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.